Hello, today we will be solving this problem called apartments. There are n applicants and m free apartments. Your task is to distribute the apartments so that as many applicants as possible will get an apartment. Each applicant has a desired apartment size and that they will accept any apartment whose size is close enough to the desired size. So basically, uh, here we have four applicants and three apartments. This, uh, this first applicant wants an apartment whose size is between 55 and 65 because his desired size is 60 and there is a tolerance of 5. So uh, the second, uh, this second applicant has a desired size of 45 so his range would be between 40 and 50. So our goal is to find the maximum number of applicants we could serve. How could we do that? So this is our example here. And if we think about it, for each applicant, we should try to match the smaller sizes. We, we should try to match the applicants with uh, whose desired size is small with apartments whose size is small. So the first th step we have to take is to sort both arrays. So if we sort both arrays, we'd get something like this. Then uh, we'll try to match this 45 with this 30. So the first thing we notice is that this 45 will only accept houses whose size is greater or equal to 40. So there is no point trying to match it with anything smaller than 40. So as long as this blue pointer uh, points at a value that is less than 40, we should just keep moving this blue pointer. And if 45 cannot be satisfied, there is no point in moving to 60 or any other value. Because if all these values are less than 40, that means that this applicant will not be satisfied as well because uh, an applicant whose desired size is, or is smaller than this one's did not get uh, satisfied. So we'll move our blue pointer. Now our blue pointer is at 60. And we ask ourselves, can this first applicant get this house? The answer is no, because now the blue pointer is larger than the maximal size of this first applicant, which is 50. That means that this first applicant cannot be matched with anything, but the second applicant may. So that is why we move our green pointer to the second value. Now we are at this position and we notice that we could assign this house to this applicant because it is exactly equal to his desired range. And we could do this greedily. That is, whenever we can, ma we, we find a match, we just assign it. Because for each applicant, we, we need to assign the, the first house that he can accept in order to leave as many houses as possible for the fourth for the following applicants. Since we have a match here, we'll increment our counter by one, and then we will move both our pointers in the next step, because now this applicant is satisfied, so we move to the next one, and this house is taken. Now we are at this position. Here we notice that 75 is larger than 65. That means that this applicant we not get anything, so we just move our green pointer to the next value, and our match is still equal to 1. Now we are at this position. Here again, the difference between these two values is less or equal to 5. That means we can match them, and that gives us a total matching of 2, and then in the next steps, since there is no more ends nor ends, then we are done. Uh, more precisely, we'll be done when 
when any of these get to the limit because there is nothing else left to do. So that's pretty much it. Let's check out the code now. So this is our program. We we'll start by reading the input. Uh, we have three variables n, m, and k, and we need two arrays to store our applicants and our apartments. So we will do this, and we will read the, these values. Next, as we said, we will sort both arrays, and then we'll have two pointers at the beginning of each array. And we'll have another value matches that will keep track of the matches we found. And we will keep moving both uh, pointers until they are out of bound. So this will be our first loop. We will keep moving through the applicants trying to find the match for them. And inside our loop we'll have this first condition. This guarantees that the pointer on the apartment is at least uh, as large as uh, the applicant's desired size minus k otherwise there is no point in comparing them and we'll keep moving that j pointer as long as it is less than m then if uh, j is less than m we check if the absolute value between the apartment size and the applicant's desired size is less than or equal to k. And if that's the case, we increase our match by 1 and move both pointers because that actual apartment got matched. Otherwise, if that's not the case, if the apartment size is larger than the desired size, we'll just move the i pointer. And at the end, the variable matches should uh, contain the value, our answer. Well, so we just print it. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and submit. So that works. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.